Hello folks, it's just another update because I have um, records that I missed in my last update of some new things and um, I just really enjoy doing this <laughs> as well as watching the videos too and then you know people's collections are just so cool to see. Um, really love the variety and I, I'm always learning about records from watching the videos people. So here's the latest bunch and um, uh, I just got some something in the mail today, which is a, one of the last things I show very happy to get it We'll start with this one. I found used by Bruce Hack and Miss Nelson Bruce Hack is an early pioneer of electronics and the electron and um, recording wizardry um, When I hear him, I think very much of the producer Joe Meek. You guys know about Joe Meek um, Johnny do you remember me? That's one of the hits I do. but anyway Listen, compute, rock home. This is like um, from, I believe, either a TV or a radio series for all ages. Really, a lot of this is aimed at children, and it's great. It's very imaginative. Um, all kinds of things like, you know, things to do, dance and play. But the way that the things are presented uh, sonically are very creative. Bruce Hack, um, again, just his early use of electronics and manipulation of echo and using all sorts of things to create sound effects just to, to great degree. He was, was truly a pioneer and this record is a hoot. I've listened to quite a bit of it and it's just really fun. Recently um, was in, I get inspired by the community, you know. I think about the community quite a bit among other things. I mean, I do have a life, but this is really, thankfully, a new and important part of it. And, um, you know, I don't mind admitting that I think a, a lot about um, videos and people and records uh, that I've been watching and seeing over the years. And uh, I've been, in, I get inspired. And so I was recently inspired to pick up some Depeche Mode. I haven't bought any in a long time, but I found a couple records used. So I picked up uh, some great reward uh, in just brand new shape, you know, for what, was it maybe four or five bucks, you know, you gotta, gotta grab it, you know. I picked this one up, and I also um, got this one, which is called um, People Are People, and I, I didn't remember this cover, I think it's um, like a comp put together for Columbia House, but uh, this is in the uh, brand new shape too as well so I just got this used as well Depeche Mode thank you Jeff Record Man 1958 for the inspiration at that same store I have all these I haven't shown my Genesis collection yet I, I need to do that but um, I couldn't pass it up it was a Japanese pressing of, of this album Genesis this is maybe their mm, sixth seventh album and uh, Mama was the big hit Illegal Alien but Home by the Sea is the good is, is and it's going to get better those are great genesis songs off the here and Je uh japanese pressing on uh on vertigo <laughs> that's cool to me you know um long time genesis fan i know they've been on vertigo they were on vertigo but i uh, usually being american would get the stuff you know on the atlantic whatever it would be you know once uh they were too big for charisma in america that was nice to find I found another bowie i'm trying to get as late to the game but I'm picking him up uh, pinups uh, album of covers where he's um, um, basically uh, paying homage to his uh, roots and um, you know I, I particularly like his version of see Emily play um, Friday on my mind by the easy beats it's pretty good you know and uh, so Bowie's great he just really is it's just great I was happy to find this in really good shape. And this is an original, uh, the West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band Volume 2. Now, I know about this band and what they are about. And thankfully, there are some good songs in here. But the guy in the middle, Bob Markley, a bit of a, you know, I'll say it, kind of a creepy guy. You know, his whole um, intention in starting this band, the story is well known. It's on online. He had money. And um, I believe he saw these guys out of Yardbirds. Um, house show out in California and basically Bob Markley the guy in the middle what he was all about was picking up you know underage girls for sex you know and wanted 
what's the best way to do it? You know, a pop band, you know, was all the new rage back in the 60s. So he roped these two brothers in, you know, on either side. I forget what the name of their band originally was, but um, so there's some hokey stuff on here. And some of the lyrics are just so obvious about what he's about that it's, it really is creepy. And I think that's the right word, you know. Um, but in particular, the smell of incense, the original version of this, it's been covered by a few different bands. Southwest FLB being another one. I have that. I do have that. It's a great song off of here. So I was happy to find this. So now we get to the most recent things uh, that I'm just really happy to, uh, to have gotten. Received this in the mail. Ashra Temple. Schwingelin. This is a reissue of, uh, uh, this must probably be maybe their second album. This is just a psychedelic, Kraut psychedelic monster album. Spacey as hell. Trip Meter 10. This album is a beauty. And um, it's a reissue, but it's lovingly done. Just like the original. Uh, a friend of mine back in the 70s, the kid that turned me on to all this stuff, he had an original copy of this, and uh, we would just trip out on this baby. And, um, oh, I love this label. Or the ear. <sighs> really happy to get that one. And uh, as well as the next one, I've got this online. It's in brand new condition. Another Art Zoid album, which I've had this on CD forever. But uh, let me see if I can uh, pronounce it. Symphony pour le jour où brûleront les cités. And again, this stuff is really dynamic and jarring and edgy and kind of will put you on the edge of your seat. It's not comfortable music to listen to at all, but it's so brilliant and imaginative and fierce. Talk about fierce and fierce passion. Talk about passion. This music is very passionate and just on the edge of being classical, but much more powerful, you know, and the, the use of um, percussion and ah, it's, it's rock, more rock, it's, it's, they're masters. And the, the two records I got today, I'm really happy to get, I bought this one brand new, washed out um, within and without. Um, I knew about Wit Washed Out, have the first one on uh, digital, and um, the sound is like from another, whole another era, a whole another time period. Um, this is a beautiful cover, but the sound is even, this is awesome, this is great, even better than the first record. Um, chill Wave, whatever you want to call this, I love the debossed cover, the title on the front and the back. Uh, textured like that. Just really a beautiful cover. Sub Pop's getting it together. And um, happy to say uh, my, mine's on uh, white vinyl. Beautiful, beautiful package. But it fits the sound. Washed out sound is awesome. It's really neat. Um, kind of like a faded, like a faded photograph in a landscape of some sort. Um, maybe by the water, uh, colored but washed out, not faded. Uh, the name of the band is just perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of raving. Um, I will, I'll rave about Washed Out's new record. This is, uh, this is great. Um, I'll be getting into this. And then what I just picked up in the mail, I'm really happy to get this. Slow Dive's first album, Just For A Day. This is a 180 gram reissue by um, Music on Vinyl. They, re they recreate the uh, one of the original creation logos on the record. But I just love Slow Dive. And the cover, if, you have, if you've heard the band, you, you know that this cover really captures the overall ambience and feel of this music in this record. And if you haven't heard the band, if this image appeals to you at all, You'll love this album. And if this album of their sound doesn't quite do it for you, I say uh, investigate further. Slow Dive really, really, really developed uh, 
by the time I s saw them, so I think I saw them uh, about the time they were going to put out Suvlaki and uh, got to talk to Neil and Rachel a little bit uh, after the show, which I love. And um, and from where they started and where they were headed, you know, when I met them, it's like really ambitious, but really they had a real strong idea about how they wanted to make music and how they wanted it to sound and feel. And they did a damn good job. I was looking at the record. This came out in 1991, and it just blows my mind that this record is 20 years old. The Passage of Time. So, um, I hope I'm not making too many uh, videos, but uh, again, I, it, it apparently really doesn't matter. You just make the videos if you want to watch them. You do. If you don't, you don't. And uh, again, you know that I love hearing from you folks. Um, the exchange here is priceless. You know, this really is a valuable addition to my life. Um, I'm, I'm pleased with my life. I have a lot of love in my life, but uh, records is just one of my prime primary interests, always has been, one of my primary focuses. And to be able to share it with other people who have the same, you know, primary focus is just the bomb. This is the best, folks. Please talk to me. I love it.